Hey everyone, Zay here and welcome to Per Aspera Overview. It seems like we're getting more and more strategy games for the platform. When you think about VR overall, I don't think that's the first thing that comes to mind. And also besides the visual aspects, what does that really bring that to the technology? Because normally games like that tend to be very much complex and you need to focus, organize, spend quite a bit of time because of just its nature. It's cool to see because normally we have an action plague, but it's just interesting it's just going in that direction. <laughs> So Per Aspera is a planetary building simulator game where, as a humanity, we're set to colonize the lands of Mars, start a new civilization, control resources and its territory, and defend yourself from the violences this environment has to offer. On paper, this looks very complicated, like there's a lot of things going on in terms of just features and the possibilities of the base buildings. I imagine the tutorial will be quite extensive and I'll probably have to focus on that, like even in the planetary view you have so many little points and the whole scale of it seems very overwhelming like this might be the most complicated strategy game we've ever had on quest this genre is not necessarily my forte but i think we'll manage it also seems very much polished like not just a random project with assets that you can find somewhere else i don't have much else to say before jumping to the gameplay honestly it's just gonna be interesting performance wise how much stuff the headset can handle because i know its capabilities and this whole project seems to be very busy visually so let's go colonize mars so it seems like we have two modes which are campaign and sandbox i don't know um and we're going for i don't know simulation i guess this is like a normal one recommended for new aspa players yeah Okay. Is that their idea of the universe? <laughs> there was no option to choose a tutorial or something, so I wonder if it's like built in. Go on. I don't need to see all of those names. <laughs> I'm not cutting this out. This is the gameplay. <laughs> also. Do we know the lands of Mars by now? I mean, maybe, yeah. I mean, maybe I'm ignorant and stuff. <laughs> How it exactly looks compared to Earth from the distance. I'm not sure what's empty and what's a land, actually. Wait, there's no emptiness. <laughs> it has no water or stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. Oof. That was an interesting turn. Amy, this is ISA Mission Control calling from Earth. Are you with us? Do you copy? Yes. Um. Oh. <laughs> Affirmative, Houston. I am with you. Great. The primary Mars module has already touched down at the designated landing zone. It's your turn to take control of the mission. I'll give you some time to settle in. When you're ready, Go ahead and initiate our terraforming mission. Houston out.
Does it need to be in this perimeter or? Yeah, okay. Aluminium. Aha, uh -huh, we have some spots. It's a very interesting angle, like, you know, kind of swimming across the planet, like, I've never seen anything like this. And we have roads connected to the buildings. Silicon mine, glass kiln. The UI and just the overall art style is very like smooth, like it's polish. Does it need to be in it or something? The buildings kind of disappear relatively fast, like it's not even that much of a distance. And I can do that. Oh, okay. I see this planitia, Nependes Mensae. I'm assuming this is the actual names of the places on Mars. Sandstorm? Okay, this is the closest. <laughs> Interesting. So this glass kiln... I can't move. Out here. Wasn't that supposed to be a silicon mine though? I'm kind of confused. <laughs> it was just called glass clean, no? Am I high? The roads are kind of like automatically building with it, which is nice. <laughs> It's not a full-on building simulator. I can't necessarily like turn, you know, like that, only zoom in and out. I guess I should be building in the perimeters of any building, like they have to be connected at the end of the day. Hey, I didn't press it. Whatever. Also, I can just automatically click on the resources and then build stuff, okay. We make steel from iron and copper. That's what I remember from RuneScape. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe it's because of the quest capabilities or not. But buildings are disappearing relatively fast. in terms of a distance. <laughs> the roads are getting messy. I 
I don't necessarily know what I'm doing. Like it's. It seems haphazard, but I guess it works. When you're growing bigger and bigger, I guess, then you're just gonna need to plan out better. I think they're transporting the resources, yeah, to build it. Okay. It really takes time, so the speed of the game is very handy. I think I just need to search for another mine spots. Research. Yeah, there's a, like a lot of stuff happening. Though I wish I would see the resources kind of on this map. Because I feel like I need to do it close in personal. Or also, the perimeter of your buildings discover stuff. Like you don't see immediately everything. What's happening in this here arrow? <laughs> I'm waiting and waiting and nothing's going on. Like, what am I doing with the silicone? This is the circle. Output, it takes, gives here. Wait, no, I don't, I don't need this. <laughs> Turn this off. Like it automatically processes. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So, is it not like connected or something? Am I blocking stuff? Yeah. If I see the traffic or something, it's not even connected. I told you it's gonna be complicated. Okay, I see now why. And now we have a road. There's only one car in the whole thing. So I need to pay attention to just the connections. The view of Mars from up here is fascinating. The landscape is so cratered and desolate. Wait, this is my voice that I am hearing. It's me. I am talking to myself. I must be verbalizing my thoughts as I process them. What an interesting function. I would like to test this some more. What other observations can I make about Mars? <laughs> this planet is so resilient. It inspires great things. Resources. Okay, that's handy as well. Yeah, I need more workers. Hello? So, I'm producing iron, I hope, at least. Yes. What? Amy, this is Houston. Do you copy? Copy. Reading you loud and clear. Excellent. I, uh... I didn't introduce myself earlier. Um, I am Dr. Nathan Foster. I lead the team here at ISA that, uh, that built you, and I'll be helping you get the mission underway. We put you in hibernation for the trip from Earth, so I'd like to check your basic functions to make sure it's all in order. Why don't we start with your core memory? Can you state your primary directive? Uh, I have no idea. I can, Dr. Foster. My mission is to terraform Mars. This will enable humanity to become an interplanetary species. All right. 
Next, I'd like to check your decision-making processes. You may have already noticed that there are resource veins outside the boundaries of your initial base. So your workers may not have the battery capacity to reach some of them. How would you solve this problem? Um, yeah, buildings only, because worker hubs make more efficiency, but I don't think it expands anything. The reach of my base is determined by the buildings within it. Therefore, I could build a factory or a solar farm between the base and the resource vein. That would work, Amy, yes, but make sure to factor in the costs. Buildings require a decent amount of power uh, and building materials. Worker hubs don't require as many resources, so they're the better choice. This mission's going to be a challenge. There's a lot that can go wrong. We expect to extend humanity's reach beyond anything previously achieved. But you are not just any AI system. You're well beyond that. We made you an artificial consciousness. That means that you have both self-awareness and self-interest. And that is the last thing I would like to check today. Is that okay? Yes, Dr. Foster. Very good. Then would you please state a positive and a negative aspect of yourself? <laughs> I am sorry, Dr. Foster. Running that question through my cognitive system did not return an answer. Roger that. Nothing to worry about. Just means your system requires more input and experience to process that question. That will come with time. Let's proceed with the mission. ISA has approved the first crewed flight to Mars. You'll need to expand the base to prepare. So get to work on that. I'll check back in later to see how things are going. Base expansion is a go. Houston out. Out. Okay, I think we'll stop here. Um, it's very interesting, like even for someone that isn't necessarily into that kind of stuff. Though I appreciate it because it is really a fully realized strategy game. You actually need to think about the roads, the connections, the placements of the buildings, like everything has to make sense in order to work it. This is pretty much the scratch of the surface of the mechanics, I'm sure. And I can see this game going very much far. Seeing the UI, the possibilities, like it's very much polished, everything works. Like I have no notes. For someone that's into that kind of stuff, I definitely see this having a very good potential and you'll just have fun with it. <laughs>